What y'all know about Mervyn Jones? Yeah. Good evening, good evening. How's everybody doing? Even more importantly, what you know about the Stephanie Tubbs Jones Foundation? Man? Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, if anybody that's familiar with Ohio politics or Northeast Ohio politics in particular, you know about the legacy that Stephanie Tubbs left with us. Very instrumental in our communities coming together and, 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 and coming out with some of the things that, you know, that we were dealing with in the past. And we need that now here in the future. And we got Mervyn to carry on the torch. You know, thanks for Doing coming aboard, man. man. Thanks we for having are, me, man. Yeah, one thing I wanted to know, the reason why I wanted you to come on the show is because I wanted to know more information about the uh, Stephanie Tubbs Foundation. Can you explain to us what its uh, purpose is? Well, the purpose for the scholarship fund is to... It's a scholarship It's fund. a scholarship yes. fund for those underprivileged youth who want to better themselves and want to take on the task of being a lawyer, a politician, or someone who just wants to do better for their community. Okay. The whole thing is that we raise funds for those who want to go to law school so they can better themselves. This is all about for the underprivileged youth who have the dreams to be a lawyer, to be a judge, to be a prosecutor, to be president, congressperson, whatever it is. We want you to be able to fulfill that dream, and that, this scholarship fund is an outlet to do that. Now, uh, Ms. Tubbs was well-liked and well-respected in, in her circles. Now, one, one thing I... This foundation, was it... Was it going on when she was alive, or did it take off after her death, or how did that go? Um, due to things in Congress with ethics and everything, we couldn't run a, a scholarship foundation with her name on the top. Well, we could because have, of ethics. Right, please. because of ethics. Okay. Since she passed, I was just moved to continue her name, to make sure that her name lived on throughout Cleveland, right. the that's United right. States. Yeah, that's right. Ohio, yeah. the world, you know, it's just, we want to be able to give back to all of our youth who want to fulfill a life in civil service. Now, how long did it take you to pick up the pieces and run with the torch after that tragic demise right there of your mom? Uh, it took me about six to eight months, you know, it took me a while to recoup first and foremost. Yeah. Second, set a goal and see if I can aim for it. And then uh, do my research. You know, there's a lot that goes into running now, a Now, do you have congressional help, like maybe help from her colleagues in Congress? Oh, yes. The colleagues have definitely have helped out. Those are my aunts and uncles. Okay. And some of them are young enough, I still call them my big brothers okay. and sisters. So, you know, with the help of them, they put the word out. They, they send in money. They help me throw these events. They just do everything I ask of them, and it's a blessing to have a support system like that. Wow. I wanted to know, now coming up, how was it for Mervyn and, 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 and Stephanie coming up, you know, in her early years, you know, trying to make it through school and, and everything and trying to bring you along and everything. How was it coming up? Coming up, I'm not going to lie, I was definitely blessed. I uh, started off at a good private school and then only asked, child. yep, definitely yeah. only child. And was able to move on. I was able to make my own decisions after I'd gone through the private school teaching. I said, why don't we go to a public school and finish off? Wow. Yeah, I yeah, finished yeah. off at Shaker Heights, graduated class of 2002. What compelled you to make that decision to do that? Through, my, through me playing sports and just being out there in the social area, I was able to make friends who went to other schools who were more like me. I just grew up a block or two from here myself. So yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was able to make those friends in different areas, different cities, and in my own neighborhood. But when I'm I went to the, move. right, <laughs> definitely. When I was able to make those connect with those other privileged students who live out in the Pepper Pikes, yeah. the Mayfield Villages, all those, right. I would still be able to come home and talk to my regular folk, to my family. Right. That's right. You right. know, that's what I was, that's why I learned at a young age, you gotta be able to deal with everybody. Right. Let me ask you a candid question. What would your mom think, because you know your mom, mm -hmm. what would she think of things like what's going on right now? Maybe even like with the Player T show, with Hollywood being in the hood and everything like that. What do you think she would think of something like that? Well, to, to answer the first part of the question, with the politics, 
she honestly she's she would be definitely against some of the things that are going on. Uh, some of the new positions that are coming up is probably that wasn't in our vision. But you're talking uh, about the new county government things like that. Yeah, part bit different parts. Not all of it, but certain parts of it was definitely something that wasn't in our plan because there was talks of this position almost 10 years ago. Wow, okay. You know, they've been trying to do it then and it just seems so happening. Right after she passed, they're pushing for it now. So right, right. the powers that be that decided to make that move and I hope that it pushes the state forward in the right direction. You know, that's all we can ask for the betterment of our area. Uh, but with TV shows and web shows like this one, the Player T show, she would say, you know, do what you do. Make it yours. Do now, where can do. they find the Stephanie Tubb Foundation at on our, the web? Our website is www.stjfoundation.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Merv, M-E-R-V, underscore, STJ Fund, F-U-N-D. When people come up to me and say, hey, how are you doing, Merv? You know, sorry to hear about your mother. I just look back and say, you know what, Mom, thank you for that. Because wow. it lets me know that the whole community still has my back and our family's back. Yeah, yeah, really. No one's going to be my mother. I don't right. want anybody to imitate. Right, right. As long as they can pass on the knowledge that they learn from her and still continue her works through that outlet, I'm all for it. But nobody's going to be her. Yeah, nobody. That's right.